Hi, welcome back to Team Woody Sheep Reviews. You want to charge a battery? Lithium polymer, they can be a little bit volatile. A lot of people are panicking. Charging batteries, you need to be monitoring your batteries. Good thing to do. If you haven't got one of these, get one of these. This is, I, I think sometimes they call them battery medics. This is a GT Power. So you can get them, Hobby King will uh, stock them, uh, eBay, you can check them around. And what's what's the beauty of this? You'll see, you'll, you'll pick it out because it's got uh, a set of plugs for each set, uh, type of battery that it will sell. So obviously there's a 2S, 3S and so on, up to a 6S. And when you plug it in, you will see, you will see the cell voltages and the cell count well on this one you've got a balance button you press that balance button and what it does it discharges the higher cells and diverts some of the power to the lower cells and tries to equalize all the cells so that they become all the right voltage and for example this battery was way out i don't know what happened i haven't used it for a while started to charge it and it was dif a differential cell which made me a little bit concerned about this battery because the cell voltages are drifted a bit. So it tells me that this is getting towards the end of life. So I left it plugged into this on balance and left it overnight, put it in a, in a metal box. I'll show you the metal box now and left it overnight. And in the morning, if this was totally discharged and flat and knackered, then it's in the bin it goes, I'd cut the lead off and drop her in a bowl of salty water and totally discharge it. That's my my thing I uh, give her. Not just water, salty water so it conducts. And that will discharge the battery 100% because the salt water will conduct and it'll very slowly discharge the battery. If I discharge it with a bulb, and then I take the bulb off and I come back, it will have absorbed some power back into its cells and there'll be power there again. Be careful, you chuck these in your wheelie bin or your re refuse bin and they short out or they get punctured when stuff goes in, they will combust. They will, as soon as the lithium hits fresh air, the gases that's causing this to puff, it'll start fizz bang and there'll be fire and when they go off they go off big time and i mean they're like a like a firework so be very mindful these things they're fragile they've got soft shells if they're damaged and there's a risk of any of that lithium from inside coming out you need to discharge them and dispose of them keep an eye on the cell voltages that's your first sign if you've got lots of discrepancies as you can see now that's been balancing that's been balancing and they're now all 4.12 i always charge balance so that i've moved out to my conservatory to charge batteries in the shed and then i become very conscious that i'm going in the house because perhaps i finished at the shed or i'm waiting for something the glue to dry and then i'm thinking what if one of those batteries flares up like I said, a colleague of my, mine wrecked all his planes. The temperature got so hot, all the foam models he had all popped and was ruined. It just looked terrible. And obviously the, the black soot over everything, it's just not worth it. Get yourself a box, stick, charge them in a box. Think of those batteries. If you've never seen one go up, then have a look on YouTube. Plenty of videos there. I, I put a nail into a fully charged battery stupid stupid i won't do it and i'm not going to show you no 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 i'm not going to show you i'm trying to think if i've still got the video footage You were there if you're like working in the shed it's fine if you're there and you can see something going on because the first thing that happens these go bunk, and they start to get fat and they puff out 
and they're like Father Christmas's belt streaming at the seams. Always charge in a controlled area. And if you've got a metal box that you've made or can construct to charge these, then you're doing a good thing. So I've created this. I've got my eye charge in a post, but I've also got the ISDT um, T6 light. Then the eye charger, however, just I've had this a number of years. This is obviously the 3010B. And I had this, I don't know whether it's an ammunition box or exactly what it was, but it's a tin box in all intents and purposes. And what I've, what I've done is in this tin box, I've lined it with Depron foam. Right, so it's, it's obviously if there was a fire in there, the Depron foam is gonna melt and deteriorate and whatever, but I wanted to stop the box getting too hot. So there's Depron foam on the base and around and if if one of these can bust in there then pretty much everything in there is trash but it will stop the heat and the smoke and or the the flames coming out of the box there was a hole little hole there which i cut slots into low smoke to come out so i got a little camera watching it and of course because it's got infrared detection on the camera it will detect the heat signature and i'll see it i, I generally leave my smoke detector there and if if this starts screaming i can hear it because i've also got uh, sound in the ccd camera the little yi cameras they, they they're quite handy so this is my charger so i got a tin box and the balance boards are actually in there i put little feet on it and the little feet just to keep it so obviously if there was a lot of heat in it i don't want it to scorch the, the, the worktop obviously by the time i get to it if, it's, if it has started erupting and if I got more than one battery on it, then chances are they are going to erupt. And as you can see, I've got plugs coming from the charger. So I can simply rip the plugs out and throw the box outside. It's not a problem. So if you prepare for the worst, then like I said, you do, I got all my babies in here. I don't want to trash my shed for the sake of being unattended batteries. Outside, yeah, great, great. What, it's raining all the time. You can't charge outside. You put everything out. It's freezing cold out there. It's raining. It's, so you need to be charging inside. And a lot of people, they got garages and whatever. The same thing applies. If, it, if you have a, a, a sizable battery flare up, it'll make such a mess. Put it in a box by yourself. I think they call bat boxes. You can get a bat box, keep it in there, charge your batteries, especially you know obviously it doesn't there's no guarantees a brand new battery won't go up but if you've got batteries that are starting to get old keep an eye on them like i said if you haven't got one of these get one of these this is a battery medic um a battery balancer um they 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 are stocked they're branded in different models you'll recognize it because you'll see the plugs there and you'll see the the it'll, they all look the same this is very similar as you can see it's, it's a, a a nice color screen and basically it's a, a one view one one screen view of all your battery cells so you can have a quick look check it all out and there's a balancing cell option on this as well if you haven't got one of these these are nice because you can you can plug your battery in it gives you battery voltage but then you've got a usb plug on the end so you can plug your phone in so you can charge your phone you'll get five volts out there so if you've got a usb charger or something that you need a usb supply for boom plug it in there i'm not sure how many amps it gives out mind but you know there, there's lots of different uh, battery medics out there or cell balancers so treat yourself get one for christmas and you know, there's a couple of variants of these. These are quite cheap, but these are a little bit more expensive, but more modern. The only thing I don't like about this, probably one of the reasons why I don't use it very often, is I find this very convenient. I plug the battery in, and, and with the battery, I'm right-handed. I plug the battery in, and I have the display there. So it's easy. Pl plug in the battery, look at the battery. So when I'm checking batteries, plug it in. Whereas this... I'm looking to do that and I plug it in and guess what it's upside down 
because it's meant to be there so it means you've got to plug in left-handed and I can hold that I, I'm always struggling faffing around so I for me, I know it sounds stupid, but I prefer I prefer it if it's on the right hand side so I can hold it firmly in my left hand and plug it in with the right hand. Mm, Christmas. More Christmas tips. Just to just to put you in a picture, uh, except I know when some of these videos they do, they take a bit of time to edit. And as you know, I don't get any any financial rewards from doing these videos these videos i do them as a bit of a hobby i do them to share if i learn i like to i like to feel i'm giving you the benefit of sharing the knowledge so if anybody's got any some ideas let me know below i'd love to hear from you and if anybody has any products they want me to review then i'll be happy to review them contact me i'll give you my details and i'll more than happily do a review on them and share the love i hope you enjoyed this video Keep safe. Keep safe. Think what happens if one of those batteries ruptures while they're on charge. What's around that can be damaged? What is around the space? What would you do if you were in the room and one of them started to go off? How are you going to get rid of it? Just think. I can't tell you enough. This is you need to be safety conscious when using lithium polymer batteries so if you're new to the hobby you might be chucking them around battering these batteries but be mindful when they're charging and when they're discharging they are at risk but when it's in your shed or in your house in your kitchen in your living room when you're charging batteries you need to keep an eye on them if you can think about what would happen in the event of one of them flaring up like a firework a fire extinguisher wouldn't put it out it would still erupt because it's coming from within so be mindful of that so fire blanket push on top of it great but if you haven't got a fire blanket get a fire blanket so did i tell you that safety is important so, so thank you once again for watching team woolly sheep reviews so keep yourself healthy keep clean Two meters distance, wash your hands, don't touch your face, don't be a disgrace. So, vaccine's on its way, boys. Vaccine is on its way. So, keep yourself safe. Catch you soon. Thank you. Bye.